this is the first lesson you're having in AutoCAD. I will be using AutoCAD 2008. You might have a different version. Let's look what we're going to learn today. First, we're going to have a look how to open AutoCAD, how to display the file wizard at Startup, how to change the workspace to AutoCAD Classic, get an understanding of the AutoCAD interface, have a look at the toolbars and the menus and the commands, how to open and save your drawings, how to exit AutoCAD. The whole objective and aim of this lesson is to get a basic understanding of how the AutoCAD interface operates. To start AutoCAD, you can just double click on the icon or from the menu you can select Start, All Programs, Autodesk, AutoCAD 2008, AutoCAD 2008 to launch it. Now we're going to set up AutoCAD so that it can display the file new wizard. In the command line, type start up, press enter, type 1, type file DIA, press enter, type 1, press enter. We're going to change now the workspace to AutoCAD Classic, type in WS Current, press enter, type AutoCAD Space Classic, press enter change the GUI or the interface. Now we're going to set this as default, type in underscore CUI, press enter. In the dialog box, right click on AutoCAD Classic, set default, Click OK. You could have also done this by clicking on Tools, Workspaces, Customize. We're only going to do this once. You can use the mouse to select menu options by clicking them. You can also use the mouse to draw or select objects on the screen. On a two mouse button, the left button is the pick button. It's used to specify points on the screen. The right button is the return button. It is the same like hitting the enter key on the keyboard. In some situations it will have some special functions. The AutoCAD window is just another GUI or interface. You have your menu bar on the top, the status bar at the bottom, the drawing window, the command window and several toolbars and palettes. The palettes might not be visible. The graphics window or viewport is where you will create your drawing and view it. The command text window is where it will display the recent history of commands. You can also press F2 to display the text window. Your pointing device or mouse controls the crosshair. The status bar displays the coordinates location of your crosshair and your current settings and as additional drawing aids. Like any Windows program, the toolbar has icons in it. If you hover your mouse over it, you will get a tooltip. To add a toolbar, right click on any toolbar, select the toolbar name and it will display. In this case it's floating, you can just drag it to the edge to dock it if you want to. To turn it off, right click again and select the name. You can access your commands from the menu bar, select the name from the menu, select the command. Then we also have a cursor menu, hold in the shift key, press the return button. The cursor menu is displayed at the cursor location when you hold down shift while pressing the return button, the right button on the mouse. The default cursor menu lists object snap modes and tracking. I'm just going to press escape to close there. Then the command window. There you get the splitter, you can make it a bit bigger. I'm going to press F2. That will bring in the text window where you can see the whole history 
of the command tab in the search bar. It's going to close here. You can customize your environment and the tools options. You can specify file locations, how many minutes to auto save, for colors, etc. To open a file, we're going to go to File Open. You will see automatically it has put the command in the command window. There it's loading the file. I'm just going to draw a line here. I'm going to point, point, press enter. My favorite undo to save. We can just click save or you can type save at the command. Let me say yes. To quit, you can go file exit. You can or click the close button in the top right. You can also type quit, end, or exit at the command prompt. In the next lesson, we will look how to organize a drawing setup.